Good day everyone, my name is Norizal Majinur Ampuan and I was assigned to uh, discuss about the official report of Governor General Izquierdo on the Cavite Mutiny of 1872. Now before anything else, let us know what what is a mutiny. Mutiny is a rebellion against authority. It comes from an old verb, mutin, which means to revolt. Now, the Cavite Mutiny is the uprising of 200 Filipino at Cavite Arsenal aiming to get rid of the Spanish government in the Philippines. Now, who is Rafael Izquierdo? Rafael Cayetano Izquierdo Y. Gutierrez was born on September 30, 1820 and died on November 9, 1883. He was a Spanish military officer, politician, and also a statesman. He served as a Governor General in the Philippines from April 4, 1871 to January 8, 1873. He was also the Governor General in Puerto Rico from March 1862 to April 1862. He was known for the type of government he used, which is Iron Fist. Governor General Rafael Izquierdo reported to the Ministry of War on January 23, 1872 in Manila. According to his report, General Izquierdo implicates to the native clergy, scholars, and some residents of Manila and neighboring provinces as the investigators on a plano doon sa Cavite mutiny. The instigator protested against the injustice of the government in not paying the provinces for their tobacco crops and usury. They encouraged the rebellion by protesting to what they call injustice of having obliged the worker to pay tribute starting January 1, 1872 and render personal service. They persuaded the Indios to join them by claiming that the chief of state would be an ecclesiastic. And with that persuasion, they insisted that God was with them and they would not fail, and to those who will not participate will be killed immediately. They took advantage of the ignorance of those classes and prosperity of Indios to steal. They offered wealth, employment, rank, and 15 native battalion. It has not been cleared yet whether they have established a monarchy or public because the Indios doesn't have a word in their language to describe this government, whose head would be called Hari but turned out to be a priest. The priest selected to be head would be the parish priest of San Pedro of Manila, Jose Burgos, or Jacinto Zamora. Regiment of infantry and artillery were affiliated with them, as were many civilian and a large number of mestizos, indios, and some ilustrados from the provinces. All the Spaniards, including the friars, would be executed except for the women and their belonging confiscated, and foreigners would be respected. The rebels in the Cavite set fire to the district of Tundo to divert the attention of the authorities. The rebels were 500 natives, led by pardoned leader Camerino. Rebels in Cavite made the signal agreed upon by the means of lantern. But the native civilian in Bacoor failed because of the vigilance of the Spanish navy. The uprising should have started in Manila in midnight, abetted by those in Cavite, but the rebels of the city was ahead of time. The civil military governor of Cavite and the commander of the Regiment 7 kept the soldiers loyal and behaved with valor and gallantry. In 1869, there existed in Manila a junta or center that sought and found followers and that as a pretext, we have established a society for the teaching of arts and trades. And according to Governor General Izquierdo, months ago, I suspended it indirectly, giving an account to Your Excellency in my confidential report number 113, dated August 1, 1871.
It is said that this center or junta received inspiration from Madrid where newspapers of advanced ideas flourished to sustain them and subscription are locally solicited. In effect, newspapers such as El Eco Filipino were sent here from Spain, which were distributed by people now imprisoned. As in the case of my worthy predecessor, I have continuously received anonymous letters but because I was confident that I could put down and punish any uprising, I gave no credit in order not to cause alarm, and instead continued a vigilant watch wherever possible within the limited means at my command. I had everything ready, taking into account the limited peninsular force which composed the army.